Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate automatic chartography. We could do this in two ways. One is individual mapping. Another one is group average mapping. For individual mapping, this would need DWI data, non fiber tracking to get, to get individual tracks in a native space. For group average mapping, we will use built-in Tractography Atlas in DSS Studio and specially transform it into the native space to get a track. So let's see how to do this in DSS Studio. The data we're going to use today is openly available. It's called the NKI sample data. You could download it from Open Neural website. The data include B value, B vector, and the identity file of the DWI data. There are also T1 weighted image available. This one is optional, but will be good for us to get an anatomical landmark. So start the SS Studio. The function we are going to use are within the chartography tab. We'll go through the first step, parsing the NFT file and run reconstruction and then run factor tracking. So let's start with the first button. Click on the first button and select the DWI data. DSS Studio will open the Nifty file, bring in the BVO and BVAC, matching them. And here, just click OK. Then DSS Studio is going to generate a data, one file with this tension that is .src.gz. This file would aggregate the value, the vector, and also the DWI signal into just one file. This will be available for the next step for reconstruction. And there are also common line available to do this for processing a larger model of subject data. Now having this data, we'll go straight to the step D2 reconstruction, open the file we just generated, the src.gz file, and here, DSS Studio is going to present a brand mask. For the method GQI we're going to use for resolving fiber, the, fi the mask is not really important. Um, even though it's not a perfect match with the brand contour, it doesn't matter. So here we just go straight to the wrong reconstruction. And for other methods like DTI, the brand mask would make a difference. But here we are using GQI reconstruction. Usually the mask, the default mask will be good enough. After reconstruction, DSS Studio generate a file with extension this .fib.gz. So this file include data that's for each voxel, there will be fiber orientation that enable us to run fiber tracking. To open this file, go to step three fiber tracking and visualization and open this file. Now we are ready, ready to go fiber tracking. In the middle, here's the 3D window showing the slides. And we could optionally load in the T1. So go to the slice menu, insert the T1 here. Bring the T1 image will help us get a better clear picture of the anatomy. And on the right, corner, you will see the button that's for the fiber tracking. So here, if you just go ahead and click on this button, this is to generate hopper and tracks. That's include all the pathway in within the entire brain. So in the, in the past, if we, if we would like to get a specific pathway, we may need to place our eye or either we use manual uh, track editing to isolate or to segment tracks, say for example, the language pathway, algorithm particulars is within this big chunk of uh, tracks. And we may need to place or manually do a lot of intervention to map those pathway. And that's why we need automatic fiber tracking. So to enable automatic fiber tracking, click on the auto track button. Then DSS Studio would run normalization to bring in the chartography address and, and enable us to run automatic fiber tracking. So create all the open tracks. Now we could say, okay, I want to map association pathway. 
under under your association pathway, there are also different pathways available. For example, the algorithm facilitators. Once we set up target pathway, we could do fiber tracking. You see here, there's a studio start mapping those pathway. And of course, we could map other side. We could map singulum. So there are a list of pathway available. Then we could just go ahead and then click on it and map, map, map it here. So within a few seconds, this automatic fiber tracking is already mapping some pathway and visualize here. And here we could assign different color to help us to tell which pathway belongs to which. So this one, Agri Fasciculars, I4, Aslan, Singulum. So this will be individual mapping. And you may wonder what are the group average mapping looks like here. So to get group average mapping, say for example, for the Agri Fasciculars, at the left side. And we may sometimes wonder how does it make looks different with the group average. So the way to do it, let's go back to the upper fasciculars. Making instead of clicking on the fiber tracking button, we go to the top menu. Under the tracks menu, we could load the built-in alert. Click on it. Then DSS Studio will bring in how the good average look like in this native space. So what DSS Studio is doing here is specially transform the building photography elements into the native space. So we could see their difference um, in terms of individual mapping and also the good average. So this one is individual mapping and this is good average. So good average usually would be very useful for those for pathway there are not having a lot of individual difference. Say for example, in the projection pathway, especially some of the short projection pathways, not really sensitive to individual difference. And this will be useful, let's say we could just map it here and then go to the top menu and then load in the building letters. So this one is ensor lenticularis that connects sediments and determine. So we could bring in regions to check where it goes to the location. So as we can see here, this password goes in here. A lot of time, for, since this is a short pathway, the good average mapping from the others would be maybe sufficient enough for most of the application. Other examples like the um, Ensa sub ceramica. We could also bring in using those building letters. Of course, we could also run individual mapping on this short pathway. And that in here, we would need to change the tracking parameter because those default parameters are primarily designed for association pathway, which is much easier to map and much larger. For mapping the short projection pathway or some difficult pathway, you may need to change some of the settings here. For example, for this short pass pathway, we may need to reduce the lens, which is 10 millimeter. And also we may need to remove the pruning. This pruning step would remove noisy pathway before short pathway may not work very well. Also the tolerance. So this parameter controls the individual difference that could be uh, included in this mapping. For this small pathway, usually we don't need a large value. Maybe we're here, we could reduce to eight. And then here, instead of placing seeds, we could say, well, just want to map 5,000 tracks and click pepper tracking. And here, let me assign different color. So you can see one is individual mapping. Another one is group average. There could be some difference, but here we could use it in this interface to see how they look like in this studio.
So since the group average mapping doesn't really need DWR data, you may wonder, um, could I do it in T1 weighted image? The answer is yes. So to do that, say for example, if we only have the T1 weighted image, we could open it in DSS Studio in step T3. So click on this button. Now, instead of open the fifth file, we change the file format to nifty file and just open the T1. So here, this studio is only open the T1 weighted image in the fiber tracking interface. There's no detail we are loaded. So you won't see the fiber tracking button here, but still there's an auto track button um, still appear and you can click on it. And DSS Studio will run normalization on this T1 with the built-in template. And once this is done, we could bring in group average tracks into this T1 space. So this doesn't really need DWR data, doesn't really need to run fiber tracking. It just specially transform the built-in elders into this native space. So once complete, we could bring in, say, accurate fasciculars, and there are still fiber tracking buttons showing up after, but if you click on it, it's not really running the fiber tracking. It's bringing in the built-in adders into this native space. For example, we could bring in some projection pathway that doesn't really change a lot across individual. For example, this one is critical spinal track. We we'll see how it intercepts with the each slice going from bottom to top. Other pathways, that one across the mid line, we could also do the same. So you could select any kind of pathway. And then when you click fiber tracking here, TSS Studio just bring in to the T1 space. So this one is only group average mapping doesn't really wrong the fiber tracking here, but for a lot of application may be sufficient enough. So this concludes my video and thank you for watching.